Hi everyone, I am logged into EasySpeak today and my goal for this video is to show you something that sits behind the scenes on the EasySpeak website and on any page, whatever page you're on, if you go all the way down to the bottom of the screen, you will see this teeny tiny little link down here that says Club Control Panel. And what that does is it drives a lot of the things that you see on the EasySpeak website itself. So I'm going to go in there and show you uh, specifically one particular area that is really important when it comes to taking a look at what happens with this site, etc. So once I click on Club Control Panel, it will ask me to log in again. And here, if you look over on the left hand side, there are various different links that that you can take a look at. And one of them I want to show you specifically is this club setup. And once you go into that, it will show your club, what district division, your club number, etc., all of that. Plus, there's an edit button right over here. So when you go into that edit button, there's various different things that you can do such as you've got a general tab here you've got your the name of your club uh, an email address uh, whatever social media you may be involved with such as your club's website if you have a Facebook fan page if you have a YouTube account etc you can place those there you can upload a different profile picture if you want to uh, different things like that and you can say whether or not you want this logo to be displayed uh, on the printed agenda, on the screen, or both. All right. Now, going back up to the top, you have some other tabs that go across the top. One is display, and here this is where you set your time zone, your language, etc., your date formats, and things like that. You can set privacy preferences and other preferences that show on the agenda for the meeting. Under the options tab, you have optional uh, modules, we haven't done a lot with this, or these stats calculation dates. And uh, so, for example, you can calculate user statistics for, and we have it set for 12 months, uh, calculate club statistics for 12 months, etc. Then you can also say default the participation chart that it will look ahead eight meetings. Now, you can change this when dynamically when you're in EasySpeak itself but at least as a default it's set to 8 and you can go as high as 9 it looks like. There you go. Role allocation. This one is the engine behind how EasySpeak auto assigns people. So when a VPE creates a meeting what they will do is the meeting will get created and then they can auto assign who um, you know the, the system itself is going to say well so and so hasn't been Toastmaster in a while so I'm going to put that person in as Toastmaster so the the engine behind EasySpeak is using this algorithm and it's based on what you have put here so for example meetings before first speech so when we have someone who uh, gets added into EasySpeak they're a brand new member uh, we look for two meetings before they can uh, actually schedule a speech meetings before any role so if they come for one visit they are automatically eligible if we're tracking them in easy speak to be able to fulfill a role like being timer or something like that so all of these are things that you set that will help allocation engine that's behind the scenes to suggest people that should take certain roles in a meeting and if you go over to the meetings tab here this gives you know where's the time and the place of your meeting etc then there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with the agenda as far as like what prints on it and things like that and if you want some message that will appear on all agendas you can set it here and it will print on every single one later on I'm going to do a video about the things that you can do here maybe some suggestions of what could go here uh, because you can also do this dynamically on each and every uh, meeting agenda uh, in EasySpeak itself uh, beyond just what's here in the club control panel. So 
One is temporary, one is permanent. This is a permanent thing. If you put something here, it will always print on your agenda. And then finally, TMI information, Toastmasters International. This is the fact that it's open to everybody. We're an open club, our club number, our area, division, district, etc., and when we were founded and all of that information about us. Okay. So if you have changed anything here, you will definitely want to click that save button right there. And the way that you get back to easy speak is that you go over here to the front page. And when you click on that, you go back to easy speak. The important thing to know here is that I believe only the officers of a club have the ability to go into the club control panel. Um, I haven't verified that, but it would be my guess that that is true. So if you have any questions at all about the club control panel, please leave your questions in the area below this video. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.